फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू बैंक एग्जाम कैफे एंड फाइनली वी ऑल नो दैट सी बी एस ई हैज पब्लिश्ड द सैंपल पेपर फॉर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन एग्जामिनेशन फॉर क्लास टेंथ एज वेल एज फॉर क्लास ट्वेल्थ ऑल्सो हियर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द question paper sample question paper that is published by cbse for class 10th standard mathematics so let us move to see what changes the board has made in the question paper there are lot of changes total changes are there in the question paper and that we are going to see so let us move to the question paper so here the first page of the question paper is in front of you as usual there will be 3 hours time only as usual and the maximum marks will be 80 marks and it is said that in general instructions the question paper contains two parts part a and part b there will be two parts question paper total question paper will be of 80 marks and it is divided into two parts the part 1 and the part 2 and the part 1 will be of 32 marks this will be of 32 marks and part 2 will be of 48 marks and the total will be the 80 marks and the both parts a and b how internal choices it means all questions you have to attempt all questions you have to solve but there will be the internal choices what type of internal choices will be there that we will see while observing the question paper in part a what will be there part a will be again consist of two sections one section first section and the second section section 1 and section 2 internal choices are provided in the five questions see the section 1 has 16 question 16 questions will be there in the section 1 and that will be of one marks an internal choice is provided in five questions in five questions there will be the internal choices it means you have to solve all this 16 questions but in only five questions there will be internal choices internal choice means there will be a or question in any of the five questions out of the 16 questions and that will be of one marks each question will be of one mark in section 2 four questions on case study this is very different case studies that is introduced by the cbse in all there will be the four questions on case studies case study there will be four questions remember four questions try to understand this don't get panic it is not difficult very simple to solve i will come up with the videos uh, explaining how to solve or how to deal with the case study there will be a case study given to you and the questions will be asked in the normal way only which are asked in a general way so here case study there will be a four questions each case study has four cases five case based sub parts means suppose there is one question first question second question third question and fourth question there are four case study based questions and each question will have four sub questions five sub questions 1 2 3 4 and 5 each will have five sub questions and out of these five sub questions you will have to solve any four any four any four sub questions that you have to solve it means in the question number 1 it means in the question number 
means after 16 there will be the 17 questions 18 question 19 question and 20th question that will be on the case studies and each question will have five sub questions out of that five sub questions you have to solve any four questions means this question will be of four marks this question will be of four marks this question will be of four mark and this question will be of four marks all the four questions will be of four marks each but the number of questions asked in each question will be five out of that five any four you have to solve means in each sub sub question there is a choice of one question so this is the section 2 which has four questions again i am telling you that this case study based questions are introduced by cbse you should not get panicky questions will be simple uh, very simple easily that are solved because one mark questions are there the question is of understanding the case so once you understood the case you can solve it very easily and each question will have five case uh, based sub parts and examinee is to attempt four out of the five sub parts remember this i will be come coming with the different case study questions in the next episodes also so don't worry and the publishers are well expert and they will bring out the books on the case study questions uh, within one month and you will it will be made available to you don't worry so there will be the ample number of questions in the market for you to solve now in the bar, part b part b will be as usual 21 to 26 question number 21 to question number 26 these questions will be of very short answer type questions and each will be of two marks 21 to 26 it means the six questions will be of two marks so total will be of 12 marks question number 27 to 33 it means there will be seven questions and that each will be of three marks that will be short answer type questions so that will be 21 marks and the question number 34 to 36 will be the long answer type questions so there will be only three questions and each will carry five marks and total will be 15 marks so friends here this will be the type of the questions the questions paper will be divided into two parts part a and part b in part a there will be the 16 marks of one mark each four questions on the case study each question will have five sub questions and five sub questions out of that five sub questions you have to solve any four questions it means each case study will be of four marks and the rest of the second part will be as usual once again i am telling that because of these case study based questions don't get panicky questions are easier to solve because all are the one mark questions and your teachers are well expert and they will give you the sufficient practice on the case study based questions now we will go actually to the questions these questions will be as usual that are the of the one marks so these one mark questions you will have to solve and find the answer then the i move to the second page of the sample paper and you see here there are the questions different questions of one marks are asked and now move to the case study questions these are the 16 questions and now from here from 17 18 19 and 20 these four questions will be of case study based questions so here is the question and these are the figures given to you 
this is the graph from the graph with the help of the graph you can find the coordinates of these points it's very easy to find the coordinates of these points and the dimension is also given that one centimeter is equal to one meter and see the questions asked what is the question find the midpoint of the segment joining the points j and i you have to refer to the top view you have to refer to the top view this is the top view you have to find the midpoint of the j and i and the coordinates of j and i are given in the question and so here you can solve this question without watching the figure also there is no need to see what is the figure if i give in normal that find the midpoints uh, of the segment joining the points j whose coordinates are 6 and 17 and i whose coordinates are 9 and 16 you can find it very easily same question is there if a point x y is equidistant from these two points you can solve this such type of question is there in the textbook also textbooks published by the ncrt now here there is a another case study scale factor and similarity scale factor figure is given you have to use the rules that you have studied in the uh, uh, triangle section of your syllabus and you can solve these questions how to deal with these questions that we will see later on so that will be the type of the question so here is the another case study figures is given normal way the figures are given in the textbooks also in the question paper also uh, and the questions of the one marks are asked on this figure instead of asking a four mark question the question of one one mark five questions will be there out of that five four you have to solve so here there are these figures you understand this figure because you have studied And now this will be the type of the question paper and in the part B there will be the two mark question. This is the two mark question and all questions are compulsory in case of internal choices attempt any one. Means whenever there is internal choices just as here is a question number 21. Here there is no internal choice means or question is not given. So you will have to solve this question. Now move here. We will see that here in the question number 25 there is or means this is called as the internal choice. This question either solve this question or solve this question. Either of these two solve any one. This is called as the internal choice. It means for question number 25 here the internal choice is available but it doesn't mean that the examination there will be a choice for the question number 24 or the choice for the trigonometry topic only it will be in any question now here there is no internal choice you have to solve this question this is the compulsory question now move to the next page 32 question and this last questions definitely this last questions will be of five mass now here also you see that there are um, there are two questions either you solve this question or you solve this questions this is the question from the heights and distance applications of some uh, some applications of the trigonometry so there is an option so you have to solve either this question or you have to solve this question now move to the next here it is finished and so in all there are 36 questions in all there are 36 questions and once again i tell you what are the changes that uh, there is a complete change only that the question paper will be divided into two parts part a and part b part a will be of 32 marks and part b will be of 48 marks in part a again uh, it is divided into two sections first section and the second section first question in there will be 16 questions and that 16 questions will be each of one mark 
and in part B section 2 there will be a case study based question. Case study based questions will be there. In all there will be the four case study questions. Each four study question will have four sub questions, five sub questions. Out of these five quest sub questions you will have to solve any four. So this question will have four marks, this question will have four marks, this question will have four marks and this question will have four marks and in all there will be 16 marks to case study based the questions. And all these four marks of will be one one mark. Of course there will be five questions and out of that five you have to four. Once again I am telling that for this case study based questions don't get panicky. Your teachers are well ex expert and they will give you sufficient practice for this case study questions. And there will be the books also available in 15 or days or maybe in one month. Don't worry. So there will be a sufficient practice. Friends, I hope you must have understood the type of the question paper that will be for the 2021 examination and the sample paper published by the CBSE yesterday night. So thank you very much for watching this video.